Okay, so, <laughs> so I'm recording it this time. It, this is some of my notes. Here's a video with some positive thoughts for the future. Maybe just to have some perspective. Maybe have some positive thoughts. For the video link. Uh, this is some other notes. So around this time i wrote i am concerned paranoid perhaps am i becoming a target will the deep state try to persecute me see example of what might happen so this is like um this person was exposing the the epstein uh, issues and you know they were they were being harassed uh, by you know having their mobile phone uh, hide, uh, hacked and things like that. And this is another video which um, I would um, so hey, anyway. This is another uh, thing about targeted individuals, targeted persons. This is about January sixth and how they're using the. Uh, terrorist the FBI is using the terrorist database to basically harass and persecute people who were on January 6th and how they they started a legal case called targeted justice and how um, this is how it shows up this is revealing about corruption so anyway, scrolling through Twitter X can be a minefield. Sometimes images pop up which are then cached in my browser. I have to clear them. What is a deep state? Kits an arrest warrant for my computer, sees cached images and frames me. You know, sometimes when you go through Twitter, you know, you're scrolling through and then you 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 get these people post comments and stuff and share images and like I'm like Wait a minute, I don't want this image on my computer, <laughs> you know? And uh, so I'm like, wait a minute, if they want to arrest you, you know, it's so easy for them to do it. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm just being paranoid. So anyway, yes, I am paranoid. You have to be given what these people can and have done to people. I know I'm a nobody barely any views still i am publicly speaking out about this which can make me a target so maybe i'm just being bad yeah um yeah I'm, I, you know okay so testimony from a deep state whistleblower oh yeah this is about um you know this guy apparently worked in finance and he was he talks about intelligence agencies and and how um, they use blackmail and extortion and, you know, child sacrifice. <laughs> and that's what made him uh, leave. Uh, here is something about targeted individuals. Um, so what are dark magicians? Dark is evil, you know. A magician is ritualistic, satanic abuse. So I was think thinking about this. So when you look at the Bible, you know, that Abraham was about to sacrifice Isaac as a test of loyalty. You know, people say the Bible is written about, you know, it's about Elohim and the Elohim are like aliens. And what if, so, you know how they talk about in the elites are sacrificing children. Uh, so that's like a Satanism. Um, and what if, my thought process was in the Bible uh, the story about Abraham sacrificing Isaac to show his uh, loyalty to God. What if that was just like a loyalty test but that humans then took that test and they perverted it and, and they made it into something like okay if we sacrifice children we're going to get um, magical powers or something it's like a human perversion of a test of loyalty so this may have gotten corrupted by the deep state cabal uh, dark magicians to mean something more perhaps this act doesn't perhaps this act does indeed have magical power or it could simply be to show loyalty and to be used as blackmail at least in the human context I mean, when you really go down the rabbit hole, you deal with the Satanism stuff. 
I think that they might. I think people, when you, they hear the word, word Satanism, they just go, oh, that's just ridiculous. But I think some of these elite people, they're really into this. And yes, there are others who just, who just go along to get along, but some of them might be really into this and they might. I don't know if, if it actually has, if, if sacrificing humans, or, I mean, you look at the Bible, it's like the, the, the lamb was sacrificed. The idea of sacrificing, you know, on the cross, or, you know, in the, if you look at the, the Mayans, the human sacrifice, the idea of sacrificing is something that's in human history. And the elites are also apparently at the highest levels, they're doing this. So why are they doing this? Was it initially when, you know, thousands of years ago when the aliens were around, on you know, Elohim specifically, and they instituted this um, ritual of sacrifice in order to uh, enact or to test loyalty from the people? Uh, because if you go, if you're gonna sacrifice your own children, then obviously <laughs> you're gonna be pretty loyal, or something like that. And maybe the humans later on, once the Elohim left or went into the background, maybe they lost the understanding, and they thought by sacrificing children they gave them special magical powers or. Uh, that could be like, you know, like the whole cargo cult, you know, where uh, this phenomenon where if you're like an, an advanced being with the technology and then you, you meet a native tribe or ignorant humans, the humans will uh, try to emulate their technology even though they don't understand it. So, for instance, the pyramids initially they could be they could have been built to some kind of an energetic system, and then the humans later on came to the pyramid and they thought, okay, this is some kind of a tomb or something. So, so I'm, I'm trying to think maybe it was initially just a test of loyalty, as it says in the Bible, and later it could be perverted to have these satanic symbolism and rituals that might be a human interpretation and this is really dark stuff man <laughs> and you know uh, so an infringement of civil liberties by being placed on the terrorist database i would say this is an extremely good video and this is done by very serious people um this is a, this video is very good um, it's about the, the FBI, and this is, shows how much power these unelected bureaucrats have. So these people are evil. So this is a New York Times article where this FBI whistleblower talked about this. I haven't read it yet. Discussion of using directed energy weapons to cause Havana syndrome. This is a thing. We wake up. Even senators are being targeted with these weapons. Can you imagine how evil these people are? They seriously believe they are the good guys. I don't know how they can think this, but they do. They, this is how they justify doing these evil acts to destroy people's lives. Their reputations is so, so evil and vile. Yeah, okay. Uh, see how example of language is used to hide their evil doings. <laughs> so in this video, uh, I think in the same video. Was it? Oh, uh, anyway, uh, at the 2515 mark. Uh, this is the case. It's called uh, Targeted Justice versus uh, Garland. It's like against the Attorney General. Um, this seems to be an important case on social media free speech. This one referred in the video linked above. Another example of deep state evil acts uh, is another link. Science is being bribed and compromised. Um, here is an example of how, you know, he talks about Stephen Hawking and how Stephen Hawking initially might have been talking about cataclysms and 
uh, you know, but later on he changed his tune because maybe he was became compromised. Uh, here's a thing about ET integration or invasion of the human society. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good video. Uh, being blackmailed by intelligence agencies. There's another video here. So, yeah, you know, I mean, we need, sometimes we should, people should be really careful what they post on Twitter because, you know, you know, I don't want shit on my computer. I'm making videos about this. I don't want to be like, I'm just being paranoid, but still. Uh, here's some of the stuff that's going on and I think the Miami aliens are, are <laughs> I think they're real um let me see if there is something I can find there's so much stuff going on there um that was like a Mm. This the thing is Twitter. There's so much. Uh, part of the problem is there's a lot of like because of the way it works. People, it's like algorithms are. You got to Twitter pushing the algorithms, and then you got people wanting clicks. And it's like it's, it's hard to discover the truth, you know. Um. Uh, oh man, anyway, um, I think there's something to the, um, Miami alien thing. Mm, anyway, um, go to Twitter, I guess, I don't know. Um, uh, all right, here's one example of a video, but I think there's way more, uh, there's actually, um, Um, there's a witness, uh, there's much more to it than that. Some of them, okay, here's a, here's a pretty good, um, video of actual, I think this looks pretty convincing, of the, of the, of the um, spaceships. Some of them are like people wanting to get clicks, and it's really difficult to um, get the truth. You know, this is some people. Uh, it's just so difficult to get your, get to the truth. There's a good thread with some info. Anyway, 